What is poppin' roll watchers? Ben here hitting you with the hottest tea of the day. That's sure to leave a bad taste in Megan's mouth. Word well, on the street is the palace is actively mulling legal action against the self-proclaimed princess Pinocchio over her brazen attempts to monetize her rapidly dwindling royal status. That's right, folks. The same family she spent the last few years endlessly trashing and defaming apparently has finally had enough of Meghan's transparent grifting using their institutional brand as a launch pad for her doomed entrepreneurial endeavours. This time around, the former suit-wearing starlet has sparked major backlash by shamelessly leveraging her ill-gotten Duchess of Sussex handle to peddle and I tell you not overpriced strawberry jam. So, I know you guys are excited for this, but before we move on to further details, I'd like to thank you for your enormous love and support. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, guys, what you're waiting for, hit the subscribe button now. And don't forget to press the bell icon. So now, I mean, could this woman be any more transparent social climbing? Gwyneth Paltrow wanna be at this point. Not content to just rake in tens of millions from a truth bombing memoir tour alongside Harry. Hurricane Meg has now decided to pivot a brand of narcissism towards launching some kind of half-baked lifestyle empire because apparently the world's been just crying out for an arrogant Z-lister to white-splain the finer point of kombucha between chapters of a never-ending pity party autobiography. Folks, I don't know whether to burst out laughing or start furiously vomiting at the sheer gall of this grifter. Here she is, a woman who, just until a few years ago, was perpetually unemployed Hollywood extra, scrambling between burned bridges, now having the audacity to try and fashion herself into some kind of domestic authority, a modern-day Marsha Stewart peddling homespun gospels of self-care. From the extravagant compound she conned her way into through her expertly timed bedroom grift, it's such a wildly transparent case of delusion meeting crass entrepreneurial desperation that I can scarcely believe what's happening. But try she has with her patently absurd launch of the so-called American Riviera Orchard brand, a brain-meltingly stupid boutique brand that's literally nobody was asking for. Does this chick really expect people to start flocking on mass to shell out premium prices for this jam just because some former D-list cable actress stuck her name on the face, wake up and smell the rampant narcissism. You were never that famous to begin with, yet like any entitled person, Megan seems to be operating under the mistaken belief that her mere association with the product instantly elevates it to irresistible prestigious brands that the commoners should be lining up to empty their pocketbooks for, hence her drafting in reality TV staples like Chris Jenner and Chrissy Teigen as a personal sizzle reel. A genius marketing strategy, if your core demographic consists solely of bored trophy wives. For everyone else with a properly calibrated sense of celebrity cash and relatability, however, Meghan may as well be launching a brick and mortar chain of Trump stakes. And snake oil, this jaw-droppingly tacky look at me campaign reeks of desperation and failure. But hey, at least for now, she's managing to capture the attention she so feverishly craves from the great unwashed masses. Well, unfortunately for Miss Marmalade, the one group she can't seem to phase into giving her the time of day anymore is the very family she keeps craving the milking for what's left of her cultural capital. In fact... If the rumblings from the royal insiders are to be believed, the palace has reached a final snapping point over Meghan's obnoxious hustle. So much so that she might soon go legal on her ass. You see, per usual, with this woman, her quest for money and fame has been pursued with all the grace of a bull rampaging through a china shop. Specifically, her insistence on brazenly self-promoting a new venture. Full Duchess billing in violation of long-standing decrees. Yet, that's exactly what this cheeky con woman is doing, leveraging her legitimately retained Duchess of Sussex noble rank to grift sales from her unsuspecting new marks. All so she can capitalise on the perceived cachet of overpriced jars filled with gloopy sugary carb paste like some kind of... Third rate jelly smuggler. So what do you think will happen next in the Sussex saga? Only time will tell, but we'll see you again for more raw news and analysis. Bye for now.